<laughs> Therefore, I'm gonna banish his blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cool Kid Croc here again for another Yu-Gi-Oh video. Today I wanted to show you guys my Tri Brigade Zodiac deck. I've been uh, sort of climbing a little bit with. Well, I haven't gotten to platinum like most players. I'm at least in gold rank right now, and I'm learning this deck quite a bit. Seeing as they, uh, I haven't played the game for a long time and return to the game i made like two decks i made tri brigade zodiac first and then i made my ojama deck you can check out the ojama deck from my last Yu-Gi-Oh video i'll leave an annotation or something to it but anyways with tri brigade zodiac deck why should you play this deck because man this shit is fire this shit is hot hot fire you thought the ojama deck was good this is an actual good deck while the ojama deck is super hot fire I don't really consider it like a top tier deck. I mean, if you're playing in platinum, it's probably going to be hard to make a blue eyes white dragon attack you with zero attack. <laughs> you know, that's uh, probably going to be difficult to pull off. With the Tri Brigade Zodiac deck, a lot of these cards are very well put together. Almost every time I play with it, I'm at least set up to do something. And while there are quite a few counters to this deck, uh, this deck overall, I'd just say, is really good to play if you're looking to climb. First, for Tri Brigade cards in the main deck, you have Nerval, you have uh, Kuras, Kit, and then you have Fractal. Now, all of the cards have different abilities relating to each other that work really well. So, essentially, you can say have Fractal in your hand right here. And once you have him in your hand, you can put him in a graveyard. And with that, you can use your deck and go into there and send Kit to the graveyard. When Kit sends to the graveyard, she has an ability in the graveyard to send another card. So you send Nerval over to the graveyard. Now you have three cards in the graveyard and Nerval lets you put Kuras in your hand. You summon Kuras and then use his ability. You can either have a Link 3 summon right there by using monsters in your graveyard. Or you can have a Link 4 summon if you used his other special ability to throw away a card into the graveyard before you summon him. Essentially meaning you special summon him, you get a Link 4 monster right there. All the cards that you use are from your graveyard. And then you're also running 3 max Cs in case your opponent decides to use special summons. This will just give you a huge upper hand on them and hopefully allow you to counter whatever the fuck they're doing. As well as 3 Ash Blossoms because it's a really good card and that's what most people are running. The Zodiac cards, um... The Zodiac cards, there's only a few in the main deck. Uh, 2 Thoroughblade, 1 Ram Ram and one whip tail what you're mainly gonna do is end up summoning a zodiac you're gonna put another zodiac from your extra deck onto them um specifically borbo can attack the opponent directly even if there's a monster in the way and then after that you can summon zeus instead of getting rid of like two level 12 monsters which is insane you can just put him on top of an xyz monster but already attacked that turn if you don't already know, Zeus is one of the like, best cards in this game with it having an ability to get rid of all the cards on the field, both your side and the opponent's, except for Zeus. So if your opponent has nothing else left in his hand and no graveyard effects, it's basically a win. On top of that, we're running a few other trap cards and other stuff. I will include the deck list in the um, description as well as leave a link to uh, where I built most of his deck. My extra deck only has 11 right now because I'm not quite sure what exactly what I uh, want to build yet. There's like a few other cards that I've seen and I want to build a uh, Tri Brigade Lyrisec deck next. So if this video does well, leave like a thumbs up, do whatever, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite like Yu-Gi-Oh game is. We'll do that for the comment question. Any platform PS2, mine was Yu-Gi-Oh GX, the uh, Dual Academy games for PS2. I love that game. I still replay it every now and then, playing as a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh student and just being able to duel and collect packs and cards. That's a really fun game from uh, childhood and probably like three months ago. <laughs> okay, so this hand is pretty good. We got a Max C. We do have eight Zodiac. We have a Fire Formation. This will let us take a card and put it in our hand. Let me activate my uh, Fire Formation. What does he have that can counter that? Does he have a Max C or a Trap card? Ah, Ash Blossom. Okay, so that negates that effect. Um, I guess I'll lay down my two trap cards. I really don't want to kill my Zodiac just yet because I don't have any other cards. I think I'm going to have to end this one right here. He's Ritual Summoning a uh, Monster, so I'm going to play Max C. It's rid of him. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragging. That's terrifying. At least I got one card from it. He's got 5,000 attack. Wow. 
Yeah, that's quite a bit. That's a uh, good chunk. I'm at 3,000 now. Yeah, see, thank God I didn't put a uh, Zodiac down in defense. Because if I did, he would have done double piercing damage. I didn't even know his deck yet, but it just that's very lucky. I'm going to destroy his uh, card on the other side of the field. Now, I'm going to summon a Zodiac Third Blade. Does he have anything that can counter this? He doesn't. Okay, perfect. This might actually be really good. So what I'm going to do now that I have my Zodiac out, it's turn three. I'm going to put on um, three XYZ monsters. First, uh, check any. The other one being the Tiger Mortar. You can do either in any order. You Most specifically, I just need to save Borbo for like the very end. That way, um, he can attack directly right by the Blue Eyes uh, White Dragon. Or Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, to be fucking exact. So we put him on top of Tiger Mortar. We put him down. And now, we don't look all that good. We only have 1,600 attack still. Or 1,700 with the uh, field card. Now what's going to happen? I'm going to attack his life points directly. And good. That's all I needed to do. Because now I can go into my deck, special summon Zeus. And this is kind of a risky play. I gotta hope that his next two cards aren't anything special. There we go. And I now have four um, monsters under him. So I can use this ability twice. I can use this ability next turn whenever I want. Bam. Just like that. All cards removed. End turn. He's going to have two cards. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to let him play out his turn. And then I can always wipe the field again before I do anything. Right, please give me a monster. Ah, Max C. I guess I'm using Max C to attack. Um, because I'm going to wipe field anyways next turn. And uh, I don't want that a card's effect affecting Zeus. This 3k is quite a bit. Attack him with Zeus for 3k. He's going to have to survive next turn. Now... I'm gonna see what he does next turn. I think he's hoping for a card. He doesn't really have that many options. And even if he does get a ritual summon for his uh, blue eyes, Chaos Max Dragon out, I still can wipe the entire field one more time with Zeus. Okay, before he does that, um, I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> and getting rid of all cards on the field, just like this. So he's not gonna do any damage to me. Main phase two, end. Come on, give me a monster. Ah. <laughs> Damn it, man. Damn it. Okay, I gotta really hope for the next turn, honestly. Because, uh, like, I kind of got really bricked for uh, this hand, even though I got to summon Zeus, thankfully. Oh my god, he's special summoning Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> is he gonna fucking attack my. He, he is. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right i'll put tri brigade revolt down i gotta wait for his to oh my god this is going horrible no let me no oh <laughs> you fool <laughs> okay so using this <laughs> one card thank god i can a um special summon four monsters to the field and then um they will all be destroyed at the end of a turn anyways so what i'm gonna do is uh special summon tri brigade shoe rag from my deck using all these cards put them back into the graveyard or uh use them to like link summon and then boom we put him down now he has an ability <laughs> That will allow me to banish any card on the field. Therefore, I'm going to banish his blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> we did it, man. We did it. Good match. Good match. That was like 11 turns. Really fucking on par. Let me uh, start out by doing this. And then I'm going to activate the effect of Fractal. He goes into the graveyard. Now I get to pull out a kit put her in the graveyard and then her ability activates that allows me to send a nerve all to the graveyard once i send nerve all to the graveyard his ability activates and it allows me to grab a card and put it in my hand specifically just tree brigade card so i'm put curse in my hand just like that boom i can activate his effect 
to special summon him or I can special summon him but in this situation I don't really think I need to I'm just gonna activate his effect banish three cards and now this will be pretty cool banish all three of those guys that I sent to the graveyard just now and then I'm gonna summon this card this guy is really good uh Hrace Velger the desperate doom eagle he gains 2400 extra attack just because my um opponent doesn't have any cards or uh, monster cards in their graveyard then i'm gonna set these cards and uh, i'm looking pretty set up if he doesn't have a good counter for next turn he's kind of fucked and even if he sends one card to his graveyard he has to send two of them specifically or else i can uh counter it oh fuck not my curse no Fuck you, dude. Okay. So he has this card. I can't destroy it. Um, or else you just remove a counter off of it. Okay, I, I really don't like uh, that one card. So let me throw that card back into his deck. Alright, I've got my boar bow out yet. Now that I got that done, I'm going to go into my Zeus. And I can use his ability twice. Now I do get rid of my Link monster, unfortunately but it is worth it now he has to start off from scratch basically again five cards let's see what he can pull off <laughs> destroy all cards the monster <laughs> ah <laughs> oh okay tribrigade fractal thank god let's uh send him to the graveyard now i'm gonna put kit in the graveyard go put nerval in the graveyard then take out curus now i can summon curus normally and he has his effect. I can use that to banish four different cards into my uh, banish spot. And then with that, I can get my special card that allows me to banish his only monster that is on the field right now. Let me banish that one. And now, wow, I can't kill him just yet. I'm going to do quite a bit of damage. Um, even Curus is going to attack. <laughs> Doesn't usually happen, um, but, you know, that's cool. And now he's left at 2100 health. And I'm not really sure what else he can do for next turn. Oh my god. He has one of those fucking bullshit counter cards. Okay. Curse is now gone. Uh, he loses a counter. Um, there really isn't a whole lot I can do. Um, I mean, I can attack his monster. 500 damage. And then a, uh, he loses a counter. But now... <laughs> I, I guess I just wait. I, I see what happens. Ah, uh, defense mode, no! <laughs> Fuck, man. There's, like, nothing to do. Alright, I guess I'm summoning a bunch of cards. With, uh... So, I'll summon a bunch of cards with Tri Brigade Revolt. Now, I can summon Tri Brigade Rugal. My ability, I can banish as one card. Oh, and I can activate Nerval's ability in my graveyard. Oh, and I can activate Kit's ability as well. <laughs> what a chain! <laughs> and I can also... <laughs> Use uh, my other ability, a four chain. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Firstly, I'm going to summon a uh, Curse right there so I can use his ability next turn. I'm going to send, I guess I'll send another Nerval to Graveyard. I guess I didn't really need to do that. Seeing as we've already fucking activated his ability. Uh, I'll get Fractal. And then I'm going to banish this card. Holy shit. So now he gets his... um field spell but i'm not sure what else he can really do <laughs> okay so he just surrendered after thinking about it good shit good shit that was still a good one so that's like a pretty good example so even though like zeus didn't work the zodiac part of a deck we still had the tri brigade deck uh part of it to like fall back on and that really helped us out uh i guess i'll just fucking put nerve all down um i'll put imperial order down just in case hopefully he goes for special summons so i can use my max c all right let's uh activate max c because i think he's gonna be uh special summoning that card okay he gets another card i get another card um i can negate all spell effects whenever i want so i'll keep that in mind all right so this should work pretty good i'm gonna summon my uh first zodiac monster then i'm going to stack him all right, now I'm going to go straight for his life points. Attack him like that. He's probably going to use him to bring his attack to zero. Continue to attack. Attack your opponent directly. Yes. 
I wonder if this will work. I really don't know. Okay. Yeah, this does work. So now I can special summon Zeus. Put Borbo and other three cards under him. Put him face up and he has two effects that he can activate. And just like that, all the cards are taken off. Tri Brigade Nerval, which I wanted to go to the graveyard. I can now use. Um, which card do I want to add from my deck to my hand? Probably a uh, Curus. And then I can use a uh, Fractal ability right now. Activate uh fire formation 10 key draw a card from my deck to my hand um i also get ram ram and then i uh, get rid of ram ram so i can summon curus <laughs> all right let's see what his play is now he has that one card in the graveyard um I summon a blue eyes white dragon oh no i mean if he attacks zeus i can clear all cards on the field Either way, getting rid of Tri Brigade Curus isn't that bad because then I can tribute summon him into a Link monster using a uh, Fractal's ability, which is one of the really good things about this deck. Like when you clear off your entire field, if you have a few Tri Brigade monsters out there just because of how things were set up, then you're still kind of fine. But yeah, so I'm going to have to activate his effect. Let's detach these two. This actually might work like really well. Kind of hoping right now he ritual summons into something. That way I can banish it right away oh my god it never ends he's got fucking another monster there if he had summoned him right there i wouldn't be able to destroy him right now what else is he gonna do oh wow so i, I skipped main phase one okay so I enter battle phase i guess oh yeah you know what i'll attack him so at least that's gone 200 damage, that card sent to graveyard. Let me go to main two. I'm gonna activate my effect of Fractal. Then I'm gonna send my other Nerval to the graveyard. All right, let's go. Banish any number of beast monsters. Uh, four cards. Banish all four of them. I'm going to summon a uh, Trebrigade Shurag or whatever. I'm gonna activate the effect to banish one card on the field. Banish the uh, Matonis Dragon. Now, I'm a Forbidden Droplet. This card allows me to send a card to a graveyard and split the fucking a, uh, attack in half of his monster. That means I can actually have a chance of still winning this. Holy fuck. I don't know though, because he can probably like resummon next turn. But I've got no clue what the fuck's going to be going on. I will be able to... Destroy this monster. That's one down. Evan, 3,000 damage to him. That's pretty good, but that's not enough yet. Oh my. He's going to uh, <laughs> get rid of cards to resummon the cards. Whoa, what a trick. Oh my god. He has two of them? Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, that deck is insane. Like, a, uh, we've at least held up to it. Like, a, um,. I'm not really sure, like, I think this is a loss, but there might have been some ways I could have won. It's still pretty close, like, back and forth. Wow. 10,000 attack. Jesus. Whoever he attacks, he wins, yeah. <laughs> well, GG, man. He, he definitely deserved that win. That deck is pretty cool. I gotta look into that one a little bit for uh, sure. Yeah, I might as well counter that effect. I don't want that going down. He can put two monsters from his deck into his hand. That sounds fucking OP. What's he activating after that? Oh, wow. He's going to banish Asplosh some from match. That's a fucking cool play. <laughs> wow. I genuinely haven't seen that yet. And I've been playing the game for like 50 hours. So that's pretty cool. Oh, he quit. Cool. Well, that, that works. I mean, like, the Tree Brigade Zodiac deck, sometimes all you need to do is play a single Ash Blossom. And you get, <laughs> you know, rank up in your tier. Alright, we got an Ash Blossom. Um, Regeki, that's pretty cool. Re Revolt, Fractal. Pretty good hand. Add one level 4 or lower warrior monster from your deck to your hand. Might as well activate the Ash Blossom to cock block that. He seems kind of stumped on what to do now. <laughs> Alright, got Forbidden Droplet. That isn't a great card to pull, but whatever. Um, let's start off by activating Fractal's ability. I activate his effect. I send one card 
back into his deck. It makes his attack 4,800. So already off of first turn, I just about have enough to uh, send him up like under half. There we go, 3,200. And then I'll do another 1,200. Oh, he's activating effect. Well, might as well go into main two. Um, I'll put down my Tri Brigade Revolt, save my Regeki and my Zodiac for next turn. Okay, so he's gonna get rid of Curus, kill him, then fucking oof. It is quite a bit of damage, but I'm still gonna do a little bit more next turn. <clears throat> Let's special summon four, and then I can use all four of them to get my Shureg out. And that will banish one card on the field. And banish that card. First off, let's use Regeki finally. Destroy that one monster that's there. And now, instead of doing anything else, really, I can just go and attack like this. And uh, that'll be enough to win. Good stuff. So that's like, what, I think four matches out of five were won. And the one match that I didn't win with this deck was like a very close match. And I've used this deck like mostly for all my climbing, like other than the Ojama deck. Like I'll switch to the Ojama deck when I want to switch things up or uh, have a little bit of fun and relax. But when I want to go serious, I've been using this deck. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty good deck. Like I definitely recommend that you build it yourself. Because they, uh, there are quite a few cards in it that are useful, like Max C and Ash Blossom. If you have three copies of those anyways, those will go in other decks. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this Yu-Gi-Oh! video. If you did, leave a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Show support. Let me know what other like Yu-Gi-Oh! decks you guys have been using and what decks you maybe want me to check out. You can check out all my social medias in the links below. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.